Hello, Sunday Scoopers. It's great to see y'all again. I know it's been a solid day since we got to do this last. So, I hope y'all have been sort of staying within the Solid Day Scoop world, listening to the podcast episodes on the YouTube channel. If not, y'all should totally go check them out. But anyway, today, we'd like to start off with Ike. Ike, it's been a minute since I got to see each other. So tell me, what's been going on with you? Oh. You know, Caleb, same old, nothing tremendous going on with me. Although, I'd like to hear about you. Rumor has it you got to go see a special someone this past weekend. Well, I wouldn't exactly call it special, Ike. But it was pretty awesome getting to see him perform live in concert. Literally the probably all-time best concert ever. Total fanboying the whole time because Scotty McCreary, and how do you not fanboy with Scotty McCreary? He's literally the best singer ever. And I was even, you know, ultimate fanboying, completely crazy. Don't know what I was thinking, but stayed after with all the mega fans and got to... After a couple hours waiting outside, of course, because it took a minute. It wasn't like a right away thing, Ike. But I got to meet him in person. And I even got a picture here to show the viewers, which is really cool. Because you do not walk away from literal fanboy moments like this without a picture, Ike. But, I don't know, again, I really don't know who's telling you these rumors. Because it's not being someone special the way you're thinking of. Like forever girl or anything like you're thinking they just literally get to go to the best concert ever and meet literally my favorite artist ever which i would say is special but not in the way you're thinking like that does sound pretty amazing if i do say so myself for sure on obvious good time but if you were able to get a picture you obviously talked to him too right yeah Actually, yeah, I did talk to him. I told him how inspiring his music is and that it literally helped me through some crazy times and it was just amazing. And gave him the biggest hug ever and then we took the picture and it was just amazing and it was totally worth it. But back to you, I how exactly have you been? What have you been up to? Surely you've done something since the last time I saw you. Well, Caleb, <clears throat> not to brag or anything, but I've been studying the use of the island language myself, learning different signs, and of course keeping random facts saved up to help us find new ways of educating our viewers. Like the importance of music across different cultures, the fact that music is considered the universal language because of how powerful it is even connected to the, the deaf culture <laughs> music huh you know like i never exactly took you for the kind that would listen to music what exactly is it that you listen to it's funny that you should ask actually like many others out there i'll base my song choice on what mood i'm in as a matter of fact, there's a study out there called the Jordan Menzé study, which proved that music not only affects our moods, but that like heavy metal type music will further create negative emotions such as anger, while classical music, on the other hand, helps provide a more positive, peaceful emotion. Right. Clever way to avoid the question and also throw in facts for our viewers, which I appreciate. But still, have you ever listened to any, like, I don't know, modern day music? 
modern. Well, I guess when you say modern, you clearly aren't talking about the first lyrical song discovered upon a clay tablet believed to have been 3,400 years old. You probably mean like Beethoven's Fifth or Mozart's String Quartet, right? Okay, so yeah, modern, I definitely do not mean no songs found on a clay tablet believed to be 3,400 years old because that is far from modern. And the fact that you just called Beethoven and Mozart modern, like, is basically answering my question, telling me what kind of music you actually listen to, and that you don't really listen to anything modern at all. So, we're gonna do both you and the viewers here a favor by getting you to listen to more modern songs. <laughs> And also giving the viewers a good laugh. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do Choose the Decade. We're going to have Ike listen to songs from the 50s all the way to the 2010s. And you, the viewers, get to decide which decade you believe Ike belongs in based on his hilarious reactions to the top songs from each decade. And... Feel free to comment below which decade it is you think I belongs in. But before we do this, just a quick word from our seasonal sponsor. Nineteen sixties, all right. Oh, oh, it's getting upbeat. Woo! Hey, nineteen sixties. All right. 1970s is next. Ew. Oh, Caleb, this one's like super slow. 1970s. Alright, so 1980s is a little faster, but still kind of slow. A lot catchier, though. Mm, it's like slow dancing at a wedding. Thousands. Solid beat for the two thousands. Gotta say it. Alright, alright. Two thousand tens, you say. Last one. It's a lot louder than usual. That's for darn sure. Woo! Yeah. What did I learn from this, you say? Tell the viewers. I learned that certain modern music can be okay, better than usual, and I could see where some of it can be entertaining, whereas some of it, not so much. But, like Caleb said, it's up to y'all viewers to decide. Comment below which decade you think I belong in, and comment below your favorite songs, so I could get a playlist of my own with 
better music because clearly Beethoven is not modern anymore, according to Caleb. Alrighty, Ike. And is there anything else we need to discuss with the viewers before we might go? Well, since it's almost Halloween, I'm sure we could do something on the fact that even during the regular part of the year, we all have a invisible costume that we all wear that hide our emotions, especially around like new people. And we slowly but surely take the full costume off. Like the first step might be taking off the metaphorical mask. You know, that would be interesting to tell the viewers about. We could tell the viewers about this weird haircut that you got. Very, very interested in that one. Or we could, you know, simply say something like, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you can stay up to date on all the latest Solid Ace Scoops and podcasts. And, you know, end with something like, <clears throat> Happy Halloween <laughs> from the Soliday Scoop. Be real spooky like that, but there really isn't anything major important we need to tell the viewers, Caleb. So remember, this Halloween, don't you dare lay a finger on my butterfinger, or I'll call the BFI. Butterfinger Investigation.